I honestly didn't realise how hard this video would be to film. I think it's because it's such a personal thing, um, not emotionally personal, just a personal choice sort of thing. And it's hard to be very objective about it and be able to tell you guys about it, so I think I'm just going to do a story time. Hi guys, welcome back to Acting Confident with Natalie Marie, and this is your tea time story time with me. Yes, I have decided to make a new series. I realise I do very ins instructional videos, based on my acting journey. I also do vlogs that show you the lifestyle of an actress and also just the lifestyle of a 20 something year old who is trying to juggle life in general. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate. And I also do videos about acting confident. But this video didn't quite fit into any of them. It's basically gonna just be an open discussion so I would love your comments down below to discuss further with me about this topic because I know a lot of people have thought about it. So I'm just going to say my anecdote and let's go through there. Is it the right time? Either is it the right time to have that wedding, to fly across the world for that job, and to travel for a couple of years, six months to a couple of years, to move on from your nine to five and make your side hustle yeah, full on hustle. But also, is it the right time to just do anything in general? I find that humans, we're very indecisive creatures. We have goals, but we're very hesitant to make leaps to get to that goal. Um, I believe, for instance, let's go, let's say things that I can actually relate to. Going from that nine to five and transitioning to making your side hustle your full-time job. I am not there yet. I want to be there. I have, I am starting to transition to there. I recently just got a job that will help me transition to that. Um, by making my nine to five job into, from an office job into a remote job. That way, because I'm working remotely, that means I get to have a lot more flexibility with auditioning and just putting myself out there and having, you know, those hours spent commuting are great hours just to spend on my own thing. I have had this discussion with a few people. Um, basically, if you are transitioning from your nine to five job, then they say until your side hustle is producing uh, so much work that you haven't got the hours to tend to it then yeah you're gonna have to think about I think this is the time to slow down on my nine to five and transition to my side hustle also when your side hustle is producing an income that is equal or surpasses your nine to five get rid of that nine to five you don't need it anymore Clearly your side hustle has grown to such a level that you need to start outsourcing or you need to start um, you know, really delegating more time to it so that that can keep growing rather than plateauing and even getting hurt by the fact that you do have another job. Now I've talked to a lot of friends and they, they've all said the same thing. I, one of my friends, uh, her name's Ashley, she's a great jewelry designer and she used to be a travel agent and she said once I have so many orders that I cannot possibly have time to do my travel agent job I will then kick my travel agent job in the butt and do my side hustle as my full job. My photographer friend, she does wedding photography. She was a receptionist for a couple of years. While she was starting up her side business it became that instead of having a few weddings a year, every weekend was booked up with weddings and she needed the time during the week to edit photos, to serve her clients. She didn't have enough time to balance. So she left her reception job and she took the leap and, and now her business is thriving because she has enough time to put into it to make it actually thrive. But there's people out there that, uh, that say, prematurely stuff it I'm just gonna go head into the like head first into this business and or into this goal and not worry about the consequences and just learn via experience there's other people who want all their ducks in a row 
until they move on to what until they make that little leap I do learn from experience and I do learn on the job but at the same time I need to make sure that I do have a few ducks in the row in a row to make sure that like cool I have a foundation I'm not just jumping off into the air into nothing I don't know what kind of person are you like when you're thinking about is it the right time to do something do you say stuff the right time who cares about the right time there is never the right time because life is so full of surprises that if you think you are in the opportune time life will give you a curveball just so you can juggle something else or are you more of a person who's like there is a right time for everything patience is a virtue I don't know let me know in the below in the below this is just a video because it was a, a thought in my mind as I was driving home after this interview I then got the job as soon as I got home and I thought is this the right time and I had a discussion with myself I had a discussion with my mom I had a discussion with my cousin I had a discussion with a few people like and basically it was like if you can do it <laughs> do it because I know that juggling these two jobs for now in a few months time it won't be juggling these few jobs it'll be juggling it will just be one job plus my acting work so I think a little a little bit of feeling uncomfortable is okay because I know it will all work out and I know if there is a will there is a way and damn this girl here has a lot of will and that's because I just put my mind to it and I know it's probably such a busy time next month is gonna be the busiest time to have done what I've done but it shall pass so, I don't know a few years ago I would have said to myself that Natalie you're doing it again I was notorious for giving myself so much work and doing it all on my own that I you know would overwork myself and I would get sick and everything but I'm pretty sure I've learned from that I know how to juggle my time more um, in a more efficient way you know making smart moves so that you're more efficient rather than doing a lot of work and less efficiently I know my limits and I think that's a thing that everyone should I don't know gauge when they're thinking about making decisions especially making big decisions like when I went over to America I knew it was the right time to just quit my job and go uh, quit my admin job and go to America because I was like I this will make me happy and this will definitely help my career the advice my mum actually gave me was if it's like is it going to serve you is it going to make anything better um, is it going to make you happy or is it going to be just negative now I know I work well under pressure I know I work well when I'm very busy I love being busy um, even to this extent I, because I know the work that I'm going to be doing is something that I love like if you want to discuss is it the right time comment down below and we'll have discussion about what you think about what is exactly the right time in life to do anything at all because I know it's, a, it's probably on a lot of people's heads I'm gonna go this was such a hard topic to talk about because it's so broad and I didn't really have many points on it but I thought it was you know substantial enough to have a discussion about so yeah let's talk anyway I'm gonna go because I'm so hungry and that's a wrap Bye.